Good evening, McAllen. I'm Mark May. Welcome to our show where we bring you all the exciting news happening in our schools. So let's get started. Each year, McAllen ISD's high school seniors apply for colleges and universities. This is done in a systematic way so every student has the opportunity and resources to apply. This special day is called Take the Leap to College Success. Here's a look at how things went recently at Rowe High School. We have everything submitted by December 1st. Today we are having our Leap to College Success and this is a big event we do every year here at McAllen ISD with all our seniors. It started out with them taking their panoramic picture and then we actually take some students, uh, seniors, identify some, and we uh, take them over to the labs where they're actually sitting and taking their TSI exam. This question guys, you're probably going to hear it a lot this semester, next semester, and of course maybe throughout even your first year of college, what is your major? I guarantee you McAllen is one of the better districts in pushing you. They want you to succeed in what you do, you know, and they, every, every single year they, they tell you AC, ACT, SAT is the way to go. You know, you got to get that done, you know, make sure you take them with time like that. You don't feel rushed as a senior. To see more videos like that wouldn't subscribe to McAllen ISD's YouTube page or check out videos on the McAllen ISD Facebook page. Students in McAllen ISD now have a new opportunity to get work experience while still in high school. Through a partnership with South Texas College and the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, McAllen ISD has launched the Youth Apprenticeship Program. So today we have about 56 students that are uh, participants and students in career technical education that are going to be part of a youth apprenticeship program that is a registered youth apprenticeship program from the Department, U.S. Department of Labor and it is in uh, collaboration with the McAllen Chamber of Commerce and also STC. So what these students are doing is right now they're interviewing with local businesses to see if they get one of these coveted uh, positions. Good evening McAllen, we'll continue after this. Not only did they win the best high school and the best recording <coughs> facility, on our reader's favorite school district, McAllen. Welcome back to Good Evening McAllen. Well, science students in the International Baccalaureate program at Lamar Academy participated in a multi-statewide event. Thanks to a grant from the McAllen Education Foundation, these students tested water from the Rio Grande. Schools from the Gulf of Mexico to the river's headwaters in Colorado participated. They create the they as companies who do this sort of thing. They, there's a, it's actually a big disc, maybe four. And so when this has water in it, you mash it down. See the, see the bouncy? So you, you we're mash it here down, at Ansel Duas Park. Uh, so we're sampling the Rio Grande like along with uh, a lot of other schools along the Rio Grande from uh, Brownsville all the way up to the, uh, where the, the headwaters of the Rio Grande uh, in the San Juan Mountains in Colorado. Uh, this is an attempt to kind of get a snapshot of the water quality, the health if you will, of the Rio Grande all along its length at the same time. I find it very exciting that the school is letting us come here and do these, not field trips, but in some ways places to study, places that we can collect our own data and we can see how what we study applies to the real world. And now a message from our superintendent, Dr. Jay Gonzalez. Regardless of what your dream is and regardless of what you want to do, the higher your emotional quotient, the higher the probability of you, re you reaching your full potential. That's a fact. It's as true as the law of gravity. Can you be a medical doctor? Absolutely. Will you be an engineer? For sure. Will you go out and be an architect? Yes. Will you be an aerospace engineer? Without a doubt. Will you go off and be a great teacher, principal, superintendent? Absolutely. Will you go off and go into the military and gain rank? 
Yes. Start a business on your own, for sure. All those things, without a doubt, y'all will accomplish. I can, I can already see it. I'm looking at future leaders already. If not in McAllen, wherever you're gonna be. You may live in Austin, Dallas, Houston. I hope you come back to McAllen. But wherever you are, you're gonna make a positive difference in your community. I can already tell you that. The question now becomes, how high will your emotional quotient be? On to sports. Football night in McAllen will cover Friday's game between McAllen High School and Memorial High. The Bulldogs and Mustangs kick off at 7.30 p.m. from DQ Fan Field at McAllen Veterans Memorial Stadium. You can hear it live at McAllenISD.org or on the McAllen ISD Facebook page. Coverage will begin at about 7.05 p.m. Well, let's see what is happening on Twitter. Houston Elementary appreciates Mac I students who constructed a table for Houston's robotics team. And congratulations to Wilson Elementary Principal Christine Garza, who recently earned her doctorate. That's a great example for kids to never stop learning. Also, we want to congratulate the district champion boys cross country team from Memorial High School and the district champion girls cross country team from Rowe. Remember, you can always find us right here or on cable channel 1301. That'll do it for this show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.